Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss the uh, last session we discussed about technology and environmental impacts. So a lot of things we have seen. So now we are going to discuss how information systems it will be impact organization and business firms that two way relationship between organization and uh, information technology. So now you can see the organization and information technology. What are the affecting factors? That is the mediating factors. It will be offered the information technology. Environment. So we already discussed about the pest analysis, right? So environment, culture, structure, business processes, politics, management decision. So these are the things uh, it will be effect on that information technology. So environmental impact on organizational design. External environment, internal environment, it will be affecting the organizational design. So external environment uh, in the sense outside the organization. So within that organization is internal. So outside the organization is external environment. So government, culture, competitors, customers and suppliers. They are all external environment. Internal environment is nothing but job characteristics. So that's only we, say, we said within the organization. So both it will affect the organizational design. So what is the importance of organizational design? Impact, effectiveness and efficiency. So what, what about the impact in the technology and uh, environment and everything, right? So uh, economics and it will be affecting the effectiveness and efficiency. Reduces return action, promote teamwork, improve communication, contribute to success or failure. So these are the importance of organizational design. So what are the implications for managers? So it's a very important, uh, the technology and uh, information system and everything. What about that implication? That is organizational design implications for managers. You will see one by one. Alignment with strategy. So strategy we know, right? So planning. So what about your plan? It will be alignment with the strategy. So managers must ensure that the organizational design align with the company's overall strategy. The structure should support the organizational goals, whether it's innovation, cost efficiency, or customer centricity. So that is alignment with strategy. Improved decision making. So with the help of this, uh, uh, that, uh, that is that uh, organizational design, we are going to take a decision. So a well-structured organization allows for clear decision making processes. Uh, managers must decide how authority and responsibilities are distributed. Ensuring that decisions are made at the appropriate levels for agility and accuracy. Third one, enhanced communication. So we already discussed without communication, we can't do run any business. Communication is an essential part of every organization. So effective organizational design promotes better communication within teams and across departments. Managers need to design structures that reduce uh, silos and encourage collaboration, which is critical for knowledge sharing and innovation. Employee motivation and productivity. So motivation is, uh, uh, there are two types of motivation. That is uh, monetary and non-monetary. Monetary is related to money. Non-monetary, that is not related to money. So employee motivation and productivity means the design of the organization can significantly impact employee morale. Morale is nothing but mental health. So as an employee, not only that uh, they concentrate on physical, and also mentally, it will be very strong. In that mentally, in the sense, means the organization, the employee will be satisfied only. The organization will success. That is employee morale, mental health. Managers should consider how job roles, reporting relationship, and the work process are structured to motivate employees and enhance their productivity. So next, flexibility and adaptability. So both are very important in that organization. So flexibility and adaptability. Organizational design must allow the business. To adapt to changes. So whatever the changes it will be happening in the organization, the employees also adopt the particular culture. The environment managers must incorporate flexibility into the structure uh, to handle changes in market conditions, technology, and customer preferences without causing disruption. Right. So it depends upon the market condition and technology, the organization will change. So in that change, the uh, employees also adopt the particular. Uh, technology and also it, it's not disturbing the customer preferences and taste. So resource allocation, managers must ensure that the organizational design facilitates optimal allocation of resources 
such as manpower, finance, and technology to meet business objectives effectively. So you have to allocate the resources very important in that organization. Whatever it is, so it depends upon the organization size, you have to recruit the employees in that organization that is manpower and also finance is the library of business. So finance and technology to meet business objectives effectively. Talent management, talent management, organization design impact talent uh, recruitment, retention. So retention is very important, how to retain the employees in the organization. So recruitment, selecting a right person for the right job at a right place at a right time and development. Managers must start structure the organization in a way that allows employees to grow, develop new skills and contribute effectively to the organization success. So that is a uh, talent management. Control and coordination. Uh, managers need to balance control and coordination. Too much centralization can stifle uh, creativity while too much decentralization can lead to lack of control because in the top level uh, we already discussed it's a structure means the top level only they are going to take a decision uh, that is a centralization decentralization there is no proper structure the middle level or low level taken that uh, decision that's only we said that lead to the lack of control effective organization design helps managers uh, maintain the right level of control without micromanaging because effective organizational design the managers can maintain the right level of control because if you're going for the centralization or decentralization but you're having the micromanagement is very very uh, i mean the level of control without micromanaging we don't want to uh, concentrate in that micromanaging right so everything it will be in success so these are the implications for uh, managers in that uh, perspective of organizational design thank you all for watching thank you all